Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. In this video here we're going to be looking into the Valentine's event part of the Spring It On event and it's going to be completely spoiler filled, meaning that I have chosen to go through all of the missions that I completed today. That is the entire Valentine's event if you're wondering. It's a tiny little bit of teeny beeny event. Super great though. And I'm going through every one of the things that can include some voice lines showing you guys how these different missions can be played and that's pretty much what's gonna be happening in this video here. So the very first mission that you're gonna be doing is the love letter mission and the basic concept is find red mailboxes and search them. These mailboxes appear in every map. They also appear if you have completed this mission. If you are playing with others you're going to have these exclamation marks all over the place because these mailboxes for some reason keep showing up even after you have completed the mission. Find five of these, easy peasy pants, search them and complete whatever mission it is that you are playing. The way that I decided to do this for time saving purposes really was that I selected my constructor, pumped down the atlas, made a pyramid, put down my base so that things would like auto defend themselves and then I would have these seven minutes to walk around the map, find all the things that I had to do. It worked out like a charm. You can do this in any mission but what I really like about the atlas missions is that you can complete them very fast because you can just put the atlas down and let it auto complete. If you, if you have a constructor that has a base ability with regeneration and reflecting damage or if you have electric flow stuff like that then you can do this on autopilot. That was a really like easy way for me to do it and I decided to do it in a very very low power mission just because I was expecting this event to be like grand massive but it's a pretty short one. First one completed 500 firecracker tickets. In the next mission we're gonna be searching for summer. Mission number one was to search for clues. Where can we find Summer, she's missing. In mission number two, we're gonna find her and we're gonna protect her. So she is a survivor, but you can find her in any mission. So it's not like you need to play your survivor mission. She's going to be appearing, it seems, a random spot in the map. As with the previous quest, you can have Summer in like later maps if you're playing with others that need to find her she's gonna be spawning there and you can't actually trigger her so if you find summer and you don't have the mission be sure to like protect her because somebody else actually needs to find her and protect her so if you find her and she dies you kind of really seem to break it for another player so i i know that i have found it and triggered it for someone else so just putting it out there. Keeping Summer safe gives you 500 of these firecracker tickets as well. Pretty easy stuff. These two first missions was like 20 minutes together including zoning in and out. And the follow up is to collect flowers. These flowers again can appear in any of the zones. I've seen them in cities, I've seen them in suburban, in forests. Again they appear for players that have them in their quest. So if you are playing with others you may be able to see these. I don't know, it, it has been a bit buggy for me in regards to what is showing up on the map and what isn't but super easy quest to go around there you need to pick up seven flowers for me these were mainly like in the outskirts of the map i've only been able to complete this once so i don't know if that is like a thing that you need to really go around the entire map in order to find them but the good thing was you can do this in one game so even though these are seven items you need to find seven flowers you can complete it within one game and that is really nice because a lot of the events we have had have had some kind of cap on how many many items you can find for a given quest, forcing you to play two, three, four games to complete one quest. Here we were able to find the seven flowers in one mission, that was really really nice. Again, constructor, low level map, but this time around it was uh, without even the atlas down. They were just like on the way and I saw somebody else was building the base so it was just a done deal just grabbing them. Loads of high level players playing the low missions to complete these things fast because we want the reward so bad and yeah I did that as well. Easy peasy paints seven flowers, protect the atlas, or like rescue the survivors, whatever it is that you prefer to do. You seem to be able to, for once, play the missions any way you want, and that is for me a really nice thing. Completing this mission here has its thorns, 100 V-Bucks. Next up is protecting Dennis, and he kind of just popped into me, like out of nowhere. So again, I think this is like a random spot in the map you need to find him. He is a survivor, just as Summer is, so he's gonna be somewhere in the map, triggered when you get close 
close to him. Going to be spawning monsters. You need to take them out, talk with him, and then that's a mission as well. So as you can see, all these missions so far, mailboxes, find and protect Summer, Roses, find and protect Dennis. These are very uncomplicated missions and they don't really require you to do much besides scout the area that you're already in. And in terms of the amount of husks that are attacking Summer and Dennis, these, like this is a very low amount. Completion for this again is 500 of these firecracker tickets. Next up is to give the lovebirds a little bit of music and once again we have a great mission where <laughs> you can do everything that you need to do within one map. This is like, <laughs> for me it is so great to be able to start a mission and complete it within one map so yeah I've said it twice now but it is because pain and suffering doing <laughs> like three or four missions in order to complete, well maps in order to complete one mission. But in this one here we need to find five of these boom boxes in order to find some music for these lovebirds. It's a cute little quest like some awesome tunes and voice lines in, in Fortnite once again with this event so that is like a really really epic and not just because of epic games but I feel these like the voice lines, the entire concept, the way they are building events in Fortnite I just absolutely love it which is why I have just been sitting waiting for this to get started and I jumped directly into it. This here is just finding these different boom boxes. You don't need to do anything besides find them, hold down E, like search the object and when you have done that with all of these five things you complete the mission that you are playing, the map that you are playing and it's a done deal and it is of course important that you remember to actually complete the mission, the map that you are playing because finding things like this for a mission in a map will not count towards progression unless you actually win the map. So <laughs> it's really important to remember that like tiny part, you need to win the game. Finding the last one here, this is cute but <laughs> And the entire thing is cute, it's a Valentine's event. I don't know how long this is gonna be lasting. It took like two hours to complete it, so they're probably gonna be giving us a week or more, but... <laughs> Regardless, another 500 of these tickets here bringing us to getting some chocolate and you can obtain this chocolate by smashing shelves in different missions. Unlike the other things, we have one of these smash stuff for a chance to get something that you need to pick up. I found like the majority of these in kitchens and houses in the suburban area. The mission log actually also states that you can find these in suburban areas and in kitchens and on shelves. So you can see here I found some of shelves, but for the most part I found them in houses. And once again, completion request, not request, completing the quest, 100 missions. Missions, V-Bucks, wow! I can't talk today. Next up is sending teddy bears filled with love and candy up into the air. You need to do nine of these and I was unable to do this in one map. I had to do two maps for this, completing Bear Falls 1 and getting this dude here and we are gonna look into him because everyone out there that doesn't have the goodies are gonna want him. This was just me checking out like where are the rest of the things. I was like okay we're getting started but no we were done. All this stuff here I'm probably gonna have bought within a day or two because yeah now it's back to playing as normal and that gives a lot of this event currency but I wanted to spend my 2,000 firecracker tickets to see if I could get something of interest in these new token tokens llamas wow my tongue today it's just not saying the right things I have to admit I'm not excited I'm not excited about the things they're giving us in the Valentine's event at all. I was excited about the skin, female, ninja looking, white wings kind of thing. That had me <laughs> like excited. Besides that, not so much even after reading the patch notes. I was excited about the increased difficulty option in the maps, but I tried that as well and yeah, they're not giving me new stuff. So I'm just able to get more of what I already have. So yeah, I mean, nah, I'm, I'm sorry. I really want to be like, woo. But no, I'm not. But one thing did get me a little woo. <laughs> Besides, I mean, the event is amazing. I love playing events in Fortnite. I really, really, really do. And we got a legendary survivor in the event store. So that is also like really cool. I'm going to be buying the crossbow for sure. I am hopefully going to be looking into that tomorrow. But the event and reward for the Valentine's quest. Wow. If you, <laughs> if you don't have the mythic soldier, and of course, if you want to be playing a soldier, if you don't have that, and you don't have the Headhunter, and you don't have the Skull Trooper Jonesy, you're gonna love Ranger Jonesy. Oh yeah, he is crazy. They reworked some of the abilities, and the soldier abilities were some of them, but weapon damage, 24% with an assault weapon, crazy stuff. And look at this, if you look at the frag grenade, it says keep out and cluster bomb. Right in there, meaning that he has the same abilities 
as the Master Grenadier, as the Headhunter, as the Skull Trooper, and he has the Flak Vest. He has increased health. He has a lot of these new tweak stuff. He has faster reloads. This dude is gonna, like, wow. I think he's gonna be really amazing, and I may actually need to level him up to compare him with the others because. Depending on how they have changed the abilities for the other characters, he may be one-upping them. He doesn't have the rucksack, so that is like a thing. But you can actually tactical or support squad that. So I'm I, if you're out there and you don't have any of the crazy soldiers, you're gonna want to go in and spend like one and a half hours, two hours to complete this event here because woo! As always, guys, thank you very much and very much for watching.